Hey everybody, welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I am going to be unboxing two brand new Xbox controllers. So these are two of the three brand new exclusive Space Jam and New Legacy controllers. We have the Toon Squad and the Goon Squad, as well as the third controller is called the Serververse. Uh, technically there is a fourth controller, but that is part of a Nike promotion. And uh, I did try to get into that, but unfortunately I was not accepted I hate that so much, um, but yeah, so I mean as for like just products you can like actually buy, you don't have to enter to buy it. We have three controllers, now I currently only have two, I did order the third one, so whenever Amazon decides to uh, drop that one off, I'll be making a video about that, but uh, I decided uh, we're going to take a look at the first two controllers here, the Toon Squad and the Goon Squad, just in time for Space Jam and New Legacy, Space Jam 2. And uh, yeah, it should be pretty cool. But these are two brand new controllers. Like I said, they're limited edition, like exclusive brand new controllers for this movie. Now there is also a game on Game Pass for Space Jam and New Legacy. So that uh, is something if you're interested, you guys can go and check that out. But uh, I don't know, I just thought uh, these new controllers are actually pretty cool looking and really interesting. I mean, uh, we've gotten a few controllers of uh, this new Xbox Series X generation. We've gotten a couple of them over the last like eight months nine months what ten we were, were what like nine months since the consoles came out and uh we've gotten what a pulse red we've gotten the electric volt and the day strike camo controllers so we've gotten what three controllers since launch and we had what three colors at launch so we don't have a whole lot of variety just yet these are the first controllers that really kind of change it up besides just changing the controller i mean like look at this we actually have like a pattern on here thumbsticks are different it has like words on here as printing and yeah i mean the first time we're actually really getting something like this so far in this generation so we're gonna be taking a look at these today and uh and seeing what these new controllers are all about so let's go ahead and first let's take a look at the tune squad so pretty much as to be expected with amazon they did a uh, a bang up job delivering this package i mean they are just phenomenal when it comes to delivering me controllers for some reason. I I just have the worst luck in the world when it comes to Amazon delivering controllers. I don't know why. It's just so bad, especially for something like this. Like, I guess this wouldn't apply to a lot of people. Not a lot of people would care if like the box gets messed up. Like a lot of people would just take the controller out and then throw the box away. Whereas uh, with me, like especially controllers like this. I'm uh, more of kind of a collector for something like this, so I like to have the box, and I also like to have the box in good shape. Whereas if it was like just a regular black controller, I probably wouldn't mind. I mean, it's kind of funny. I do have a black controller, one of these new ones, that the box is also smashed in like this as well, which, like I said, like I don't care about that one because that's just a normal controller. You know, I can go out and I can just buy another one today. But whereas this one, this one is a limited edition, so you know it's not as easy to go out and just buy another one because the box is destroyed on this one. So that's unfortunate. That's just kind of a gripe I have with Amazon. So your mileage may vary on that. Your box may not be destroyed if you decide to go ahead and get one of these. But just like all the other Xbox controllers, uh, this one comes with two AA batteries, comes with a controller. I've also heard it comes with Game Pass, so I'm not 100% sure on that. We'll check that out when we actually open up the box. But uh, this controller can be used on the Xbox Series S, Xbox Series X, Windows 10, Xbox One, Android, and iOS. You can use this on pretty much anything. Backwards compatible, forwards compatible, you can use it on anything. And yeah, I mean, it's the new generation of controller too. So it has uh, the new share button up there as well, as well as like the redesigned D-pad, as well as kind of the overhaul on the bumpers and USB Type-C. So pretty cool i mean i do like the box quite a bit it is actually cool seeing a controller with like a new box style on it uh we of course have the blue over here and then you've got the like orange and red over here kind of represent like you know space jam also basketball and stuff too so i don't know really cool design for the box oh man I've, i have not actually seen the back of the controllers this is the first time i've ever seen it so on the front of it, it says Toon Squad right there on the faceplate, kind of obstructed a little bit by the D-pad and the right thumbstick. I don't know how I feel about that. I wish maybe, I don't know, you could have moved it up so the text was a little bit more legible, but uh, whatever. The back is uh, is kind of like a turquoise, kind of like a maybe a baby blue color on the back. And it says Toon Squad and Space Jam, a new legacy on the removable battery pack plate thing there. 
But uh, yeah, pretty cool. I mean, it definitely has quite a bit of color on here. We've got the, the purple and the orange over there. Awesome, guys. So yeah, that is the control. Let's go ahead and uh, let's check it out. So we just got one little seal at the bottom and uh, we're gonna check out the controller. So just like all the others, this comes off really easily, it has already kind of a pre-cut tab for it, and then boom, it's good. And then if we flip the controller over, you can open it up and check it out. So here we go, Toon Squad, Xbox Space Jam, A New Legacy, here we go. Ooh, there it is. Yeah, check that out, dude. Wow, is that actually? Okay, so it's just a printed pattern, it's not a physical pattern. It looks kind of like a physical pattern, um, like on camera. But uh, if you look at it in real life, I mean, even on real life, like over here on the blue, it kind of looks like it might be like a physical pattern that you could kind of like run your finger over and feel it. No, it's just printed onto the face plate. But yeah, dude, wow, this is actually a really cool controller. Not gonna lie. The blue is a really good color. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Look at that. We got blue in the Xbox button and the actual like buttons themselves the letters in here are also blue that is a really cool detail i like that quite a bit i mean uh if i guess if you really wanted to if you really wanted blue and you wanted the rest of it like white you could just take off all the rest of the components and keep just the buttons on here and mix and match it with a different controller or something like that i don't know that's cool but yeah there's a lot of different color here we got two like things of orange we got a orange thumbstick and an orange D-pad, and then a red thumbstick over here, the blue buttons, blue over here, we've got the orange and a little bit of red over here, Toon Squad, like I said, I don't know exactly why they chose that, they should have moved it up a little bit so it's a little bit more legible, oh well. We've got a USB type C right here on the back, we've got the grip on uh, the triggers as well as a little bit on the bumpers, we've got our sync button, and uh, our triggers are actually different colors. We got blue and orange on the triggers, as well as on the back face plates. Uh, as you see over here, there is grip on this. So this one actually does have grip that goes around the side. Now the grip does not carry onto the front. It only goes onto the sides here. So pretty much where your finger is gonna be resting is where there's grip, as well as it says Toon Squad and Space Jam, A New Legacy there, as well as the Xbox logo up there. Now, the Star Wars controllers that I, I've done videos on those before, so if you check those out, you guys can go and do so. They actually have a little Easter egg under here where the battery goes, so I'm kind of wondering if maybe the Space Jam ones have that too. Okay, well, nope, we don't. It just says up there in the top right, hello from Seattle. Darn it. So only the Star Wars controllers, to my knowledge, so far, have that little easter egg one of them says like hello from coruscant i believe the other one says hello from kashyyyk so that's a little disappointing it would have been cool to see a little easter egg in there but uh really cool controller nonetheless i mean i believe this retails for the exact same price as every other controller it's what 59.99 so you're paying the exact same price for this over like a standard white or standard black controller so that's pretty cool but that is the toon squad controller guys that's really awesome now let's go ahead and let's check out the goon squad now for the Goon Squad controllers. Here we go. This one, once again, exact same thing. They all come with the controller as well as batteries, and uh, they all work on all the same systems and stuff. On the back here, uh, this one looks like it's only in two colors, purple and black, which, I don't know, that's pretty cool. I actually don't mind the look of this controller too much. Um, of course, we're gonna have to actually see it, you know, open it up and check it out because a lot of times with all these controllers and stuff, the, the color on the box is different than the color of the actual controller too. So yeah, and then on the side, Space Jam, A New Legacy. So pretty cool stuff, guys. So all right, same deal as before. We've got a little tab on the bottom. We can open up and get our controller. And here we've got the controller. Ooh, wow, that is really cool. That is a lot lighter of a purple than I thought. Like I said, these are a lot different than they actually look on the box. See, like on camera, it looks about the same, but in real life, it looks more purple, like more kind of like a grape kind of color, whereas that one looks kind of like maybe like a light purple. This one actually looks a lot better in real life. So if you guys have the opportunity to get one of these controllers, definitely do so. So, I mean, once again, they put the lettering right in the middle, smack dab of everything. At least, uh, I mean, this one, Goon Squad, at least Goon is partially obstructed, but 
I mean, would you even be able to make out what that bottom word says if you didn't know anything about Space Jam or anything? You'd be like, goon, squa, like, I don't even know. Yeah, would you even be able to make that out? I don't know, maybe some people would, but yeah, I, uh, I did notice over here on the box, it had all these specs and stuff on it, and I thought that was like the box was like peeling and stuff, because like up here, you know, you can see some like white and stuff. I thought it was maybe the box, and I was like, oh, come on. But no, that's like an actual part of the design of the controller as well. But yeah, the Goon Squad, we've got, uh, it looks like, like gray, like maybe light gray lettering in here. We have a purple Xbox button, that's pretty cool. Purple thumbsticks, purple D-pad, Goon Squad, it is a purple and black controller. So down here is black, and then on the back, Goon Squad, Space Jam, New Legacy, Xbox, USB Type-C, our, uh, our wireless connecting button. We have grip still here on the triggers and the bumpers, as well as we have grip alongside the back of the controller. That's a pretty good view. You can see exactly like how much grip there is, as well as it also wraps around towards the front. So really nice controller, to be honest with you. And uh, I did actually look inside. There is a code for Game Pass Ultimate in each of these controllers as well. So I think it's like a two-week trial, something like that. So if you don't have Game Pass Ultimate, you can uh, use that trial. Or Microsoft is like always running sales on it. You can get like a month of Game Pass Ultimate for a dollar. It's absolutely insane. But yeah, the Goon Squad controller, that is really cool. And uh, yeah, dude, I really like that, uh, that color. I mean... Honestly, there's just something about it. I mean, if they offered like the same controller, maybe the same thumbsticks and D-pad on uh, Design Lab, I would seriously think about getting a controller, uh, just maybe like all purple. I mean, this is a really nice purple. And if they did an entire controller with it, I would actually really like that. Not to say that this is like bad looking or anything, but if just the entire thing was purple, it would actually look really slick. But uh, as for a Space Jam controller, Honestly, not too bad. Toon Squad and Goon Squad, really nice looking controllers. Now, here they are side by side, and uh, I can't exactly make a decision on like which one is better, because I love the purple, but I also love the blue buttons on this one, as well as uh, the blue on the side here. I think that looks really good. Um, I mean, if you cover that up and you just had an entire blue controller like that, with the orange thumbsticks d-pad as well dude that could look really slick as well as like the different like type of blue down here at the bottom they contrast it really well i mean i love the color on this one just like the amount of color and how we have a lot of different colors on it but then i also just love the color purple and how the purple looks on this controller so i don't know i mean they both look amazing and uh, once again, these are both limited edition controllers, so if you guys have the opportunity, I would definitely recommend getting them, even if you're not a fan of Space Jam or anything. It is still just a really cool Xbox controller. And uh, like I said, it's also the first of these brand new lineup of controllers, the new ones for the Xbox Series X and S, where they have the USB Type-C, we've got the new share button, we've got the new D-pad, and uh, you know the new Bluetooth, all this stuff. It's like kind of the first versions of these controllers that actually have something other than just a straight color. So we've only had official controllers that are the only thing changed about them is just one color about it. These ones actually add different things to it, add different colors, add different face plates, you know, text, and, uh, and some designs to it as well. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, guys, that is it. That is the Toon Squad and Goon Squad Xbox Series X Limited Edition Space Jam and New Legacy controllers. Let me know what you guys think about these in the comments down below. I like them a lot, dude. That looks really good. And uh, like I said, we still got that third controller, that server verse one. So that should be coming here pretty soon. That video will be coming up in just a couple of days. But that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you guys check out some of the other Xbox and PlayStation controllers uh, boxing videos I got up on the channel. I got a bunch of them recently. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.